If you've ever seen a premiere on YouTube, quite often you're seeing the typical countdown intro before the stream, which is something like this one. Well, did you know that if you're doing a premiere, you don't have to pick that one and you can even pick the length of the countdown timer. So let me show you how to do that right now. Let's jump on over to YouTube Studio and set up a premiere. As you can see on the screen, we've got a video ready to go. I've scheduled a time and marked it or set it as a premiere, as you can see just down the bottom here, right there. And right below it, you'll see a little plus that says edit premiere. This is where the settings are, where you can change the countdown timer to what you want it to be and set other things. Let's have a look. We click on that and right now, you get this big screen here. First of all, the countdowns, by default, you will be on Premiere Classic. That's the one that everyone's used to seeing. You can see it's something like this. And we'll roll that in. Got the countdown. This is just like a preview version of it, but you know, you've seen the style before. So you can see we can set uh, the theme to a number of themes. There's a whole list of different styles, which have different types of music as well. Uh, that go with them so you can select the one that you want and you can use this little player to get a preview of what that will look like and sound like the other thing you can do is set the countdown length it can be anywhere from one minute to five minutes the default is two minutes which is usually pretty good uh, ideally you want a, enough time for people to get the notification and come in before the video starts so two minutes is probably a good thing. Sometimes you might want to go three minutes. I think five minutes is if you really want to wait for those people to come in. Uh, so I'm going to set mine for two minutes for reasons. In addition on this page, you can also set the redirect. In other words, once the premiere is finished, do you want to send them to a live stream, another premiere? And that's going to be dependent on what it is that you've got going on and have scheduled in regards to a live stream or a premiere. It has to be something that's going to be happening after the allotted time for your, for your uh, premiere. So it could be like a follow on live stream that you'll be doing or somebody else might be doing. And the other thing you can do like in a live stream is you can also add a trailer. So if people go to the watch page before the premiere starts, they could get like a little introduction from you. Remember that this thing is to be a video that is unlisted on your channel and is between 15 seconds and three minutes maximum length. So you can prepare something beforehand if you really like a, like a trailer to the main event, like a an ad for the, th the thing and tells them to come, come back at a certain time for the premiere. So you can use the trailer in different ways, but, but basically it's to build hype for your premiere just as if you use a trailer on your live stream, it's to build hype for your live stream. So once you do all your settings, of course, you can just hit save and you'll be back at the schedule section in uh, your channel content page. And all you have to do is once I've got everything to my liking, the timing, mark it as a premiere and set those details for the countdown timer, the redirect and the trailer, then I can click schedule and my premiere is now scheduled and has a live watch page that people can go and check out before it goes live. If you want more tips like this around YouTube and all the things to do with being a creator on YouTube, then make sure to subscribe. And if you wanna check out another great tip on live streaming, you can check out this playlist here. Well, this is Doug and I'll catch you later. A big shout out and thank you to my channel members. You know who you are and I've listed you on screen. And if you want to become a channel member, make sure to click the join button below this video.